How you guys doing? B-Rad here, just uh, kind of doing a late night pickup. Didn't expect to do this, but it's a super awesome deal. So uh, you guys are gonna see what I get when I pick it up, as long as everything goes well. Okay, so I just picked up some cool stuff and I'm gonna let you guys have a quick look before I take it home. We'll check it all out when I get back. Cool. Hi, B-Rad here. Uh, I'm back. Welcome to the B-Rad video show. Um, I actually did that pickup a few days ago, so I've been back for a little while. Um, anyway, uh, I got some cool stuff I want to show you. That pickup was really awesome. I also want to uh, show you some other cool stuff. I had a birthday recently, so um, I got some cool stuff for my birthday. Not a huge amount of stuff. Um, a video game related, anyway. So uh, I'll show you what I did get. And, um, uh, yeah, that'll pretty much wrap it up. So uh, why don't we get started with that cool bundle that I picked up. Okay, first of all... Uh, I got a Super NES, it's got all the cables, came with three controllers, uh, looks very nice, it's a little slight yellowing on the bottom, but the top looks very nice, it's uh, actually a really nice clean Super Nintendo, so that's really cool. The controllers are in great condition as well, hookups are great. Um, I got uh, a loose Super Mario Kart for SNES, that's super awesome, that's a great game. I got a loose Tetris and Dr. Mario, I think I really want to keep that one. I have them both for NES, but it's cool how they're both on one cart. Got another game here. Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World on one cartridge. That's pretty cool, too. I don't ha I have both those games, but not like this, so that's kind of cool. Plus, you got the manual for it. That's a super thick manual because it's two games in one. Pretty awesome. All right, I also got a couple of CIB games, which is pretty cool, too. Uh, this one, I don't know, what do you say, the box is a 7 or 8 out of 10 because of the, the edge here, a little. There's a little damage, but other than that, the uh, game is in there, the manual, it's got the white box. Uh, I don't want to pull it all out right now because it was tricky trying to get it all in back in there. But uh, it's got everything, the little plastic cover for the cartridge, uh, the manual, everything. I also got Mega Man X, CIB, complete in the box. And um, that's cool too. Uh, everything is in there. The white insert, the manual, uh, the cover for the cartridge. Uh, Mega Man X. I loved this game. This game was really great. It's too bad it wasn't X2 or X3, but uh, still awesome. I don't have the... Um, I have these both games as carts, but I didn't have the boxes and stuff. So that's pretty awesome to pick these up for such a cheap price. I got this whole bundle for like 120 bucks. It was really good because uh, anyone that knows anything about collecting knows that... Uh, like, I think Mega Man X is probably close to that on its own, just uh, completing the box. I don't know exactly what it's worth, but I think it was a pretty good deal anyway. Good for me. So, yeah, that was my awesome pickup. I'm super excited about that. And um, I also want to show you guys uh, some of the cool stuff I got for my birthday. Um, I had a birthday recently. Turned 40. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, 40 now. Anyway, um... I got uh, some cool stuff. Anyway, uh, Roxy, the awesome person that she is, got me a Sega Genesis Mini. Now, I know there's a lot of people that have already done unboxing videos and stuff like that, so I'm not going to do one of those. Um, you can always just look it up. Uh, but this is such an awesome system. I've already been playing it and stuff. How did they fit that in the box? Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Sega Genesis Mini, real Sega Genesis, Model 1. My friend Terry was over here the other day, and he's a collector, so this actually surprised me when he saw this, and he was like, what? what is that? And I was like, that's a Sega Genesis Model 1. You're probably more familiar with the Model 2. Anyway, Sega Genesis Model 1, most collectors are aware of this. When I was a kid, this is like, I remember coming out and wanting one so bad. But yeah, there we go, the Mini. Awesome. Some great games on it. I already played quite a few of them. Love Contra Hardcore. It's really hard, but I really like it. Um, yeah, thanks a lot, Roxy. That was super awesome. Thank you so much. Also, um, I got some gift cards uh, from uh, some friends of mine and stuff, and that was really cool, too. So I just want to thank uh, Kimmy and Leanne and uh, Kelly and Alex as well. Uh, they got me some gift cards, and uh, 
I really appreciate that. I picked up some stuff for my Sega Genesis Mini, so I'll show that right now. Got a blue six-button controller. This is just the box. It's actually out of the box right now, but uh, this is, you know, what it looks like. And I got a black six-button controller. The Mini comes with two three-button controllers, and their actual size, they're, they're great controllers, but there's a few games like Street Fighter there where you might want the six-button controllers. So, uh... That's great. It makes games like Comic Zone easier to play too. You don't have to mess around with your menu items and stuff like that as much. So, uh, thanks a lot, uh, Kimmy, Leanne, Kelly, and Alex. I really appreciate it. So that's what I picked up with the gift cards you guys got me, and um, I'm excited. I've already been playing with the controllers. They feel great, and uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. But thanks a lot to everybody. Uh, we all went to medieval times, and it was a lot of fun. We went there for my birthday. We had a great supper and a show, and. Uh, there was something kind of funny when we were leaving, and you can uh, see all the swords and shields and armor and all the merchandise. There was something quite uh, interesting, as I'll, you'll see right now. Wow, what do you think of that, huh? had the Hyrule shield and the master sword. They also had like uh, like the full color versions, but then like black and white versions it looked like. I didn't see how much they were. I just saw them and I was like, okay, I gotta take a quick video of this because we were busy and I was with a group of people. And uh, I did, had no intentions of buying stuff like that when I was there anyway. Uh, still kind of cool at medieval times of all places. They had uh, some Zelda swag or Zelda sword and shield. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, what do you guys think? Um, I got that really awesome bundle. I got some cool stuff uh, for my birthday and stuff. Um, what do you guys think of this video? What do you think of the, about the Zelda stuff at medieval times? Please leave a comment down below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and then tap that bell icon to get more updates of the B-Rad Video Show. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time.